On July 16, 1969, the Apollo 11 spacecraft landed on the moon. Or did it? The immediate gratification players present a behind-the-scenes look at the Hollywood blockbuster that brought mankind to the moon. I started writing the film in 1965, but at the time it turned out it wasn't technically possible to do what I wanted to do. A couple of years ago, I brought it out and dusted it off and said, let's see if it's possible now. When I got an email from my agent saying I had the opportunity to work with Nathan Rothschild, I was ecstatic. For the part of Neil Armstrong, I had to play both an astronaut and an American. As you can probably tell, I'm a method actor. You see, an astronaut is just like a person. Yeah. Just a person in a yeah. spacesuit. Yes! Or I really decided to get into the character. What would it be like to actually walk on the moon? What would that feel like? What would my body do? So I stopped eating food, I just ate paste all the time. Every tiny bit of the performance that you see on the screen was done by the actors. They had to run, they had to leap, they had to do all the tiny things you see them doing in the film. Let's wait! Let's wait! If I didn't get the performance right, he told it to my face. Then he sent emails to my friends and family. That moment when Mr. Armstrong puts his first foot on the moon. That's one small step for man. That's my favorite moment in the whole film. One giant leap for mankind. Yeah, that line I actually improvised. When I'm working, I can't read off of a script. I can't read. Could we bring a man to the moon and make it believable? The thing we were worried most about was this. This is where movies live and breathe, in the tight close-up. Neil is on a really interesting journey. A lot of my performance was a little bit too avant-garde and ended up getting cut from the final edit. When I saw myself walking on the moon for the first time, I knew in my heart that I had really been there, been to that big old ball of cheese. I think this film really defined the moon as its own place and not just the glory hole of the sky. This is a very exciting time. This movie put the moon on the map. We were finally able to bring real, true human emotion to the moon. <laughs>